Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the IBM Developer Stream. We're live from uh, San Francisco, I think. My guest is Horia. How's it going? Good, man. Thanks. Welcome to the stream. You were on yesterday. I was. Yeah, and you're kind of our blockchain expert on Twitch these days. I try to be. Yeah, and this is, we're kicking off blockchain afternoon because for the next couple hours it's a uh, blockchain content. Um, we have a couple things. Let's, uh, let's dive into the, the blockchain. Today we'll work through a, uh, a sample tutorial. Um, so if you go to just tutorials on the, um, on the Hyperledger Read the Docs, we can go into the commercial paper tutorial. Um, and this is kind of, this is a bit more complicated. Um, so it's actually, you can think of it as kind of issuing bonds or, or a stock or something like that. Okay. So essentially in this uh, tutorial, we have um, a company called Magnetocorp and we have a company called Digibank. Got and it. essentially Magnetocorp is going to issue this bond um, for a, I don't know, it can be a, any, any amount of money. And what uh, Digibank is going to do, it's going to buy that bond. And if it, holds, if, if it holds that bond for that maturity date, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make them some money. It's going to give them some interest. Sure. Um, so that's kind of the scenario. And we'll, we'll work through a l this a little bit. And I want to show you a client app that actually is working on the network and submitting the transactions. Right, yeah. And so, Sounds awesome. So let me j uh, jump into the code editor. So let me, okay, yeah, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. Okay. So here um, I've showed you the, um, let's see. So we talked a little bit about this invoke function and we kind of have this similar code here. And right now I'm um, running the commercial paper um, uh, smart contract. Okay. Um, and right now I'm, this is all using the IBM blockchain platform extension on VS Code. Um, if you haven't downloaded that, I think it's a really good way to debug, de deploy, test your contracts. It's really quick. It's a, yeah. it's really uh, it's a great tool. Everybody highly recommends this extension. Yeah. So what we have is you can see all of my smart contracts are packaged here, and we're gonna reference this paper contract right now. And in our paper contract, if we go into our extension, it is kind of messy because I've been just like testing this a bunch. Um, but essentially we have our issue transaction, we have our buy transaction, our redeem transaction, and then we have a query all. So right now I wanna show you what's currently in the blockchain and then we'll add some things to it. So right now um, I'll do node query. Um, so this will show us exactly what's in the blockchain right now. Um, so we have a few paper contracts. So we can see that the, um, what, what's important here is this, where is it? Okay. Yeah. This key, this this zero 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 six. So that's kind of the key for the paper contract. That's the paper number. Okay. This and yeah. then All right. and then the, the Magnetocorp is the company. The face value is how much this is worth. Um, and so right now, let's go ahead and, and submit a new one. All right. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and run npm start. So this this is a loopback app that. Um, has some models that is able to transact and, and work with the issue, the buy, and the redeem transactions of that smart contract. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like now. So we're in loopback now, and we have our explorer, and then these are our controllers here. We have buy, issue, and redeem. And if you look, um, issue is going to create a new bond on the network or a new contract. Um, and if we click on try it out, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, we see our um, function arguments that this function takes. And all I did to create this app um, is I ran, I'm using loopback4. So all I did was create, um, I did like loopback, oops, spelled that wrong. Uh, loopback4 example. Um, so what I did is I created an example like to do tutorial, and then I essentially created these three controllers with models. Um, and then that's how yeah, we're going to go through the yo, um, like, yeah. And then also we're going to have Cy Venom on in like an hour or something. Who's going to take mm -hmm. us through loopback, like first principles. So, um, definitely stay with us. Yeah. So, um, okay. So we have our schema here, so I'm going to issue a new paper contract. Got it. So I'm just going to, I have this little nifty, uh, thing that will just, I can just copy and paste some of this, um, some of this JSON in. So, let, do you have a random number for me for this paper number? What are you How feeling? About seven. Okay, seven. Is that, or do you need more digits? No, no, no that's okay. good. All so right. we'll submit this paper contract. Um, so issuer, we'll just say Spencer. Okay. Um, 
and then th I'll leave the rest here. Um, do you want to give it a bigger value? Or do yeah, you keep I mean, it? I'm, we're pretty important, so let's let's do two hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So let's issue this. Make sure there's some skin in the game. That's right. Um, so this, this is a unitless value, right? It's, yeah. It's, it's exactly. Two hundred thousand could be anything. Anything. <laughs> Pencils. <laughs> So we got a response body back. So we see that this has been written onto the blockchain. Um, and now we can, so essentially we have our paper number, we have our issuer, um, we have the date and time, and then the maturity, maturity date and time. Right. So now if we just, I'm going to close this app for a second, and then I'll do node query. No, yeah, node query, yeah. Um, we should be able to see our, our new paper contract with Spencer in there, um, the, the, key, the, the paper number being seven, um, and then I kept that, uh, where is it, the face value being 200,000. Yes. Um, so that's all in there. So, so when do I get my money? I get my money in November? Uh, next year. Ugh, God, next that's year. so long. Um, yeah, so essentially what we did, we just, um, let me show you actually that model too. Um, what we did is we worked with this UI and we submitted the transaction. So our loop, where's our, there it is. Um, so we have our controllers, this kind of, what's linking um, the UI to the smart contract backend. So in our issue controller, um, well, yeah, thank you. I was like, why are there red <laughs> lines everywhere? I was like, this is working. Um, so let me go down here a little bit. Everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to the error messages. Um, so essentially we have our models, which are right here. We have our issue model. So our model contains all of the properties of our object. Um, so we have the issuer, the paper number, issue date and time, maturity date, face value. Right. Um, and what we do is we use this model and then we pass that into the controller. Um, so where's the controller? Here it is. Um, and then really what's happening is we have this request body and then we're using this uh, request body and we're passing in all of these um, parameters and we're calling our blockchain client. So our blockchain client is really the last uh, last layer before we actually get to the smart contract. Okay. Um, so I mean, this is just yeah. This is yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So it's our it's really the last layer. So we have the UI, which is kind of the controller. Then we have the blockchain client, and then we have the actual smart contract. Got it. So that's kind of the layers in this app. Yep. Um, and of course, if you wanted to use something else like Express and like React, you just ready you're yourself. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Welcome to do that, and it would be still a very similar flow. Yeah. I've just used loopback because it's like a nice way to create APIs. Yeah, it's like pretty slick, actually, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, so let's go to our blockchain client. So in here, I have my connect to the network. This was um, this is to actually um, get to the get the channel and to get the contract. And you see that we're referencing the paper contract, and this has to be deployed. If it's not, um, you won't be able to interact with the network. Uh, and then we have our, where's our issue? There it is. So we have our issue transaction and um, we're taking in those arguments and we're just calling submit transaction. And submit transaction is our Hyperledger um, API, which we were looking at earlier. Um, it's that same one that's using, uh, that's being used right, right here. And so this is rewritten for 1.4 and not using the old stuff from exactly. like send proposal or whatever, send transaction proposal. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, we're calling submit transaction and that is just going to invoke our contract, which is right here. So now we're actually looking at the contract that's been deployed onto the, onto the, the blockchain. Exactly. Okay. So essentially we're, we're looking for a contract name issue. So if we look up here, um, where is it? Oh yeah. Issue. So that's what's, and then it takes in our issuer paper number, issue date, maturity date, et cetera. Um, so that's kind of the link. We got the controllers, we got the blockchain client, which is finally going to talk to our paper contract, which is deployed. Yeah, and this is the thing where like there's going to be code in here that's like yes or no. Exactly. And then uh, you know if you, we could write something that would identify whether or not I actually had two hundred thousand pencils to, exactly. in my account or something. I mean, exactly. That's not written, but that's this is where we can do some basic logic and conditionals to see if this is like a a legitimate thing. Like we could write some rules that say that you can't uh, make a bond that actually reaches a maturity date past uh, February of 2020. Like say, it's, you can only get a maturity date of one year away. Exactly. And that's where we could have something that would reject the thing that we just submitted. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, the, you could, this is a very, I mean, this is a, you can see it's only five lines of code for this contract. So there's no error checking. This is literally just the bare bones. I think this was meant to be like, 
least amount of code um, with some functionality. Yeah. So it's just to get you started. But of course, you know, you can make this as comprehensive as this possible. Is, yeah, this is exactly where you write whatever your business logic is, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If your if your rules are Spencer can only do one transaction a year, this is where you put that that limit. Exactly. Cool. Um, so one thing I want to end with, um, I have this com commercial paper loopback code on GitHub. Um, so where's my profile? And then I'll go to the repository. I did not know that button was over there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, they changed the UI a lot in this website. Yeah. So here's my commercial paper loopback app. So if you want to just go ahead and clone it, run it, everything, it should be working. You just got to deploy the commercial paper contract. And one last thing, I told my, I told some YouTube YouTubers that I would... Uh, update my B blockchain bean uh, project okay so uh we go so this has been a project that's been under construction for a while um <laughs> this is going to come out and it's going to use exactly this is loopback um app that i showed and um, the documentation will be there um so yeah i look i um, looking forward to creating that for everyone and if you have any other requests that you want to see any sort of apps anything just let me know send me something on twitter and i'm happy to happy to do